What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nikolai Espresso and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 Zombies video here today on the channel. Today we're going to be talking about is potentially what we may in fact see with the easter egg in Shadows of Evil. This one again is a little bit more theorizing and speculation than the past couple of videos. Yesterday we talked a little bit of speculation on where we can find the perks, but today this one's going to deal a little bit with the easter egg of Shadows of Evil. If you guys don't know, towards the end of the Shadows of Evil reveal trailer, we did get one sequence where it looked like somebody was being thrown up in the air and then exploding into a just pool of blood that a lot of people have agreed on is what they think is the Easter egg or part of the Easter egg in Shadows of Evil so we're gonna discuss that a little bit here today firstly the room that this is taking place and I personally don't think that this is a room that is going to be accessible simply by walking into it or paying say two thousand dollars to open the door I don't think it's gonna be like that at all I think this is gonna be one of those things where you have to gain special access to it so how exactly am I thinking that you're going to do that well that actually lies within one of the new abilities in the map if you guys do remember Nero pops a gumball and then eventually turns into this almost octopus looking thing some sort of mutant octopus whatever you want to call it whatever it may be he turns into this thing with tentacles but the interesting to note is not the actual appearance of our character but rather his surroundings whenever this frame and sequence is going on before he he turns into this whatever it may be the hallway that he's looking down is completely normal but whenever he turns into this and actually goes into this vision that this new ability gives you also while transforming you to the right there is a glowing reddish orb or rather passageway it seems that potentially could lead us somewhere so now where is this actually coming into why am I thinking this is something important it's because whenever you went into afterlife in mob of the dead it was something very similar to what this looks like in the shadows of evil trailer now those actual passageways opened up various spots of the map that you could go into and do various things to maybe either turn on some power to an area or even do some of the steps towards the Easter egg it was something that you could not normally access but whenever you actually went into afterlife you could have free roam of some of the areas of the map now it has actually been confirmed to us that shadows of evil is actually related to mob of the dead they're connected within the story and therefore I feel like this is a correct assumption and thinking that we're gonna be able to go into separate areas of the map with this special ability that Nero demonstrated for us in the actual reveal trailer of Shadows of Evil. That being said though, I think that this is now the only way to get into this room for the Easter egg. Obviously, this could potentially be something that isn't even related to the Easter egg, but going off what the community thinks and how this potentially could play out, I think that this room is actually in fact dealing with the Easter egg. Obviously, we have no idea how this is actually going to happen or what the Easter egg is going to hold for us other than the fact that we know someone just burst into a pool of blood explodes however you want to put it a lot of people have been saying that this could potentially be the shadow man that I don't know really if that is a correct assumption or safe assumption even but I think that this is something we should all take into consideration going up into shadows of evil at launch so just a quick recap my theory here is the Easter egg room that we saw teased to us within the shadows of evil reveal trailer is only going to be accessible by using one of the new abilities here that the gumball machine gives off Nero demonstrated that for us within the trailer itself and I think that this is all going to intertwine and weave into how we actually do the Easter egg that ability is going to play a key role in it and it's gonna be nice to see how that actually plays out so that's when I wrap the video up here today ladies and gentlemen let me just think down there in the comment section down below do you guys like this theory that we are going to have to use this ability to access different parts of the map or do you think this is just something that I could be completely off the mark on love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below but thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the video, be sure to like right down below. Any shares your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace. If you are Jake, that always greatly appreciated. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for the best of quality Black Ops 3 content. Any new news or face, you guys know exactly where to find it right in my channel. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. My name is Nicolai Espresso. As always, hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace.